the allure of the vast oceans has captivated humanity for centuries. Imagine a place so expansive that despite our leaps in technology, exploration and understanding, we've only managed to skim its surface. That place exists, and it's our world's oceans. Covering more than 70% of Earth's surface, they hold secrets so profound that they've remained hidden in their watery depths for eons. You might think that with our high-tech submarines and deep-sea diving equipment, we'd have uncovered all there is to know about the oceans by now. Yet a staggering 95% of these aquatic realms remain unexplored. That's an immense expanse of water, filled with potential new species, geological wonders and phenomena that defy our current understanding. It's not just about the vastness, it's about the depth. The deep sea begins where the sunlight fades, around 200 meters below the surface, and extends to the darkest parts some 11,000 meters down. In these depths, pressures mount, temperatures drop, and life as we know it takes on forms that can only be described as alien. This largely untouched territory hides its secrets well. Every dive into these depths brings with it the possibility of new discoveries, insights into our planet's history, and answers to questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. As we venture into this discussion about deep-sea anomalies, remember that for all we know, there is so much more waiting to be discovered. The Baltic Sea, situated between Northern Europe's Scandinavian peninsula and the mainland, is a place of historical significance and natural beauty. But beneath its waves lies a mystery that has intrigued experts and enthusiasts alike for a decade. In 2011, a team of Swedish treasure hunters was scouring the seabed, hoping to uncover shipwrecks. Using sonar equipment, they instead stumbled upon an unusual formation approximately 300 feet below the surface. This curious structure, now popularly referred to as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, caught their attention instantly. The anomaly appears to be a roughly circular formation, measuring about 200 feet in diameter. Its unique design, reminiscent of a giant disc or perhaps even a millennial falcon, has fueled widespread speculation. While some believe it's simply a natural geological formation like a glacial deposit from the Ice Age, others have more outlandish theories. They wonder, could this be evidence of an ancient civilization? Or perhaps it's the remnants of a crashed UFO preserved in the cold depths of the Baltic Sea. Researchers and explorers have since been drawn to the site, hoping to uncover its secrets. Divers who have visited the anomaly reported malfunctioning electrical equipment when in its proximity, adding another layer to the mystery. Such accounts only intensify the speculations and theories. While definitive answers about the Baltic Sea anomaly remain elusive, it serves as a potent reminder of the ocean's capability to guard secrets and puzzle even the most seasoned of researchers. It stands testament to the fact that the deep sea still holds mysteries and wonders that we are only just beginning to uncover. Nestled in the turquoise waters of the Bahamas, an archipelago renowned for its sun-kissed beaches and vibrant marine life is a submerged formation that has mystified researchers for generations. Known as the Bimini Road, this undersea pathway consists of large, flat limestone blocks laid out in a straight line, resembling a road or perhaps even a wall. The discovery of the Bimini Road in the 1960s stirred immense interest. Aerial photographs showcased its peculiar, almost purposeful arrangement, extending for almost half a mile on the seafloor. This wasn't just a mere cluster of rocks. It appeared to be a deliberate formation, a pathway leading to somewhere. For decades, theories have swirled around the origins of the Bimini Road. Some believe it's a natural geological formation shaped by the movements of the Earth over time. Yet others can't help but wonder if there's more to the story. Could these stone structures be remnants of an ancient lost civilization? Some enthusiasts even link it to the legendary city of Atlantis, speculating that the Bimini Road might be a fragment of this once majestic, now lost city. Archaeologists and geologists have dived into the site to gather evidence and data. They've studied the limestone blocks, assessed their positioning, and tried to uncover any signs of human intervention. And while some evidence suggests natural processes might have created the formation, many questions still linger. The allure of the Bimini Road isn't just about the stones themselves, but the tantalizing idea of hidden histories and forgotten stories that might be encased within them. The Bahamas, with its rich tapestry of cultures, myths and tales, provides a fitting backdrop to this underwater puzzle. 
a silent witness to epochs gone by. In the midst of the vast Atlantic Ocean bounded by a system of ocean currents rather than land is a unique marine realm known as the Sargasso Sea. Unlike any other sea, it's not defined by geographical confines, but by its distinct free-floating golden-brown mats of sargassum seaweed. These vast floating meadows of seaweed give the Sargasso its distinct identity, and as you'll discover, they hold an abundance of secrets. Upon first glance, the Sargasso Sea may seem like a simple expanse of seaweed lazily drifting. However, delve a little deeper, and you'll find it's a dynamic and essential ecosystem. This isn't just any seaweed, it's a wonder plant capable of reproducing in the open ocean, detached from the seafloor. The sheer ability of sargassum to survive, grow and reproduce without anchoring to the earth is an incredible testament to nature's adaptability. Now think of these seaweed mats as floating cities in the vast open waters. They offer shelter, food and breeding grounds for a plethora of marine life. For many young sea creatures, including baby turtles, the sargassum provides the first home, a nursery if you will, protecting them from the myriad of larger predators lurking nearby. It's a maze of safety in the vastness of the open ocean, but the sargasso isn't only about protection. This region is teeming with life, from minuscule organisms that find sustenance within the seaweed, to larger predators that recognize the sargasso as a fruitful hunting ground. The interdependence of life forms here is a harmonious dance of survival and symbiosis, However, with its beauty and significance comes mystery. Why does such a vast amount of sargassum, and consequently the name Sargasso Sea, exist in this particular region? It's the very ocean currents that define its borders that also trap and gather the seaweed, creating a natural whirlpool effect and concentrating the sargassum in its center. Yet, as we marvel at the wonders of the Sargasso Sea, it's essential to remember that, like many other wonders in our world, it faces threats from pollution and climate change. The very currents that give life to the Sargasso also bring with them floating plastic and debris, entangling and harming its delicate ecosystem. Imagine navigating the endless, dark expanse of the ocean on a ship, when suddenly, as far as the eye can see, the waters around you begin to glow with an eerie, milky luminescence. It's not a dream or a scene from a fantasy tale. Welcome to the mesmerizing phenomenon known as the Milky Seas Effect. This phenomenon isn't just a fleeting shimmer or a passing sparkle in the waters. The Milky Seas Effect transforms vast stretches of the ocean, sometimes over 16,000 square kilometers, into a glowing, ethereal landscape. Picture an area almost the size of Kuwait or Connecticut illuminated naturally from below, a marine spectacle that can even be spotted from space. But what causes such an expansive and breathtaking display? It's due to the presence of bioluminescent bacteria in the water. These aren't your average bacteria. When they come into contact with oxygen, they produce a soft, steady glow. In cases of the Milky Seas effect, we're witnessing billions, if not trillions, of these bacteria congregating and illuminating the waters. The reasons for such vast congregations are still a subject of research. Some theories suggest they might be reacting to a particular substance or organic matter in the water, which triggers this massive bioluminescent bloom. Sightings of this phenomenon are rare, with only about 230 documented cases in the last century. Most reports come from sailors who've been fortunate enough to witness this natural wonder firsthand. Historically, without the knowledge we have today, imagine the astonishment and fear such a sight would have invoked adding to the tales of maritime folklore. While technology and satellite imagery have aided scientists in understanding and documenting the Milky Seas effect, much remains unknown. Why does it happen in specific places and not others? What exact conditions prompt such a vast congregation of bioluminescent bacteria? These questions serve as a reminder that even in our age of technological advancements, the oceans retain mysteries that can both baffle and amaze. The ocean, with its vast expanse, is full of wonders that continue to amaze even the most seasoned explorers. Just when you think you've grasped the extent of its marvels, it throws another surprise your way. One such thing is the phenomenon of underwater waterfalls and lakes. Now at first, the idea seems paradoxical. How can there be a waterfall or a lake beneath the surface of the ocean? The concept challenges our understanding of what we know to be underwater. 
but nature in all its splendor has a way of going beyond our imagination. These underwater waterfalls aren't cascades of water tumbling down rock faces, as we see on land. Instead, they are created by the movement of dense saline water that falls or cascades down underwater escarpments and ridges. The most famous example of this is the Denmark Strait Cataract located between Greenland and Iceland. Here, cold, dense water from the Arctic Ocean flows into the warmer, less dense waters of the North Atlantic. This results in a spectacular underwater waterfall, which is, in terms of volume, the largest waterfall on Earth. In addition to waterfalls, there are also underwater lakes. Again, it's not a lake in the traditional sense, but a brine pool. Brine pools are areas where heavy, extra salty water has settled into depressions on the ocean floor. This briny water is denser than the surrounding seawater, causing it to accumulate and form what appears to be a lake or pond underwater. One might even observe shores and waves along the edges of these pools, a mirage of the lakes we see on terra firma. These pools are typically found in deep sea trenches and canyons. The high salt concentration in the brine pools can make them inhospitable to many forms of marine life. However, specialized organisms adapted to extreme conditions can sometimes be found in and around these pools, offering scientists unique opportunities to study life in some of the planet's most unusual environments. To wrap up, the oceans never cease to amaze with their plethora of mysteries. Underwater waterfalls and lakes defy our conventional understanding and serve as a testament to the incredible wonders that lie hidden beneath the waves. These phenomena challenge our perceptions and reaffirm the ocean's status as one of the last great frontiers of exploration on Earth.